David Copperfield is generally hailed to be Dickens' most personal and autobiographical novel. It was also famously Dickens' favorite. In his preface to the Charles Dickens edition of the novel, 1867, reprinted in this Wordsworth edition, he writes, Of all my books, I like this the best. Like many of fond parents, I have in my heart of hearts a favorite child, and his name is David Copperfield. Okay? Mr. Nicobar claims that in our ch children, we live again, and Dickens' favorite child, a fictional autobiography is sometimes read as being an autobiography of Dickens himself living again, okay? He certainly based Mr. Micawber on his father and elements of Dora on his first love, Maria Birnell. Agnes was probably inspired by one or both of his beloved sisters-in-law, Mary Hogarth, who had died at 17, and Georgina Hogarth, who lived with Dickens for most of her adult life even after Dickens' separation from her sister, Catherine, in 1858. The young David reads novels Dickens read in childhood and, like Dickens, becomes a preliminary shorthand reporter for a newspaper, then a successful writer, okay? Although Dickens expressed surprise when Forster pointed out to him that David Copperfield's initials were, but his own reversed, he seems to have been clearly aware of the very personal nature of certain sections of the novel, okay? Forster revealed in his 1872 to 1874 biography of Dickens that in 1847, before he conceived his initial idea for David Copperfield, Dickens wrote a fragment of autobiography recounting his painful memories of the then secret but now well-known darkened period of his childhood when his family were living in debtor's prison and when Dickens at the age of about 10, possibly 12, lived alone in lodgings and was forced to give up his education and work in a blacking factory. Tremendous. David's experience in the novel is at times taken almost verbatim from Dickens' autobiographical fragment, okay? Um, Dickens, for example, writes, no words can express the secret agony of my soul as I sunk into this companionship. Compare these everyday associates with those of my happier childhood and felt my earlier ho early hopes of growing up to be a learned and distinguished man crushed in my breast. While David recounts, no words can express the secret agony of my soul as I sunk into this companionship. Compare these henceforth everyday associates with those of my happier childhood, not to say with Steerforth, Traddles, and the rest of those boys, and felt my hopes of growing up to be a learned and distinguished man crushed in my bosom. Even in these most personal sections about childhood, however, David Copperfield should not be confused with Charles Dickens. Dickens has used elements of his own life, but has transformed them. He makes David an orphan without siblings who has already suffered much in his young life. The physical illness he suffered as a child are replaced by David's emotional batterings under the Murdstone red regime, and he invents a savior in the form of his aunt Betsy and creates a dramatic journey to her door, okay? 
the novel is not, nor does it claim to be Dickens' autobiography, it is a novel that is nevertheless in other ways personal in its focus. It contains far less of the social protest or sweeping panoramas of society that are central in some of Dickens' other novels, such as Bleak House, 1852 to 1853, or Hard Times in 1854. Satirical comment is made on the practices that lie behind the dreamy facade of Doctor's Commons and Dickens attacks the new experimental system of solitary confinement in prisons. Okay? Most of the novel, however, focuses on the personal side of life, on human relationships and individual development, and on the intangible elements in our lives, our hopes, dreams, and illusions. This concentration is just as true of David's focus as a narrator as it is all of Dickens' focus as a writer. We are aware that in his adulthood, David desires a way, beavers a way to establish his financial position, okay? Then he begins training as a proctor, becomes a shorthand reporter, and then a writer. But the novel's interest is in the private elements of his life. It is not my purpose in this record, he writes. Though, in all other essentials, it is my written memory to pursue the history of my own fictions. They express themselves and I, have, I, I leave them to themselves. I do not enter on the aspirations, the delights, anxieties, and triumphs of my earth that I truly devoted myself to it with my strongest earnestness and bestowed upon it every energy of my soul I have already saved, okay? Some of the delights and energy of David's earth er, we are of course made implicitly aware of through his style in writing the story of his own life. 